Why do those upgraded Android screens never feel as smooth as the factory ones? Let's take a look at what makes a high-end system stand out. First, the screen and the main unit are connected as one piece. Factory systems come with a control box that's packed with cooling vents. Compared to aftermarket Android screens, it keeps things much cooler. It also runs on automotive-grade chips, so even in the middle of summer heat, it stays smooth without freezing up. It's kind of like comparing a desktop computer to a tablet. Once everything's put together, the main unit connects to the display with a video cable, and that's when the installation starts. The first big plug handles power and audio. The second black one carries data. The third plug runs the charging line. The fourth one, found only on higher trims, links to the car's network. The fifth white plug connects the radio antenna. The sixth powers the screen. And the last three colorful plugs belong to the 360-degree camera system tied to four high-definition cameras around the car. For a car in this segment, how many others give you a full 360-degree view? The screen fits right into the dashboard, so which do you like more, the built-in design or the floating one?